hey there greetings from india namaste i am kumar anjani an iit kharagpur student from india i have been working in the field of structural health monitoring and today i will be talking about the spectral element based damage detection in a non informed structures under the effect of uncertain situations now this is the general outline of the presentation that i will be following throughout now in case of the structural health monitoring when we talk about the structural health monitoring we are more focused on the damage detection what is localization as well as the quantifications now for the global monitoring of a structure there are two basic approaches that are being followed one is the static based approach another one is the vibration based stroke approach in case of the static based approach we talk about the displacements measured under the action of the static loading in case of the vibration based approach we talk about measuring the dynamic responses of a structure either it could be acceleration time history or displacement time history under a dynamic loading in case or in in the frequency domain we can measure the frequencies and the mode shifts now for carrying out the vibration based structural health monitoring we make a finite element model of the actual structure and try to update this model based on the responses that we obtain from the actual structure and whole of the process is known as the finite element model updating as we already know this is the naimi breeze available present in the alaba district of uttar pradesh in india and there are 543 number of sensors installed throughout this bridge for measuring uh, the acceleration time history to carry out the vibration based structural health monitoring now since the audience is from different background and different streams uh, i would like to introduce what we actually do and how we carry out the vibration based structural health monitoring what is the basic idea that we use let us meet the meet the uncle sam uncle sam is quite young and healthy and eventually with the time he turns old or it might be possible that uncle sam had an accident eventually the way he used to walk earlier has now got changed now simply uh, comparing the two different patterns of his walking we can make a conclusion what is the health condition of uncle sam and that same is the analogy that is being followed for monitoring the health in of a structure now as i as i already told you like uh, for carrying out the structure health monitoring of actual structure we generally make the finite element model of that structure now some there are some uh, disadvantage associated with the finite element modeling like let us suppose we have to model a beam element in that case we discretize the beam in um, into a number of elements now with the by discretizing the beam into a large number of element we end up will in calculating the more carrying out the more number of calculations and eventually the accuracy also not good but in case of the spectral element method it has certain advantages over the finite element modeling over the finite element modeling where we actually represent the stiffnesses and the mass matrices in the frequency domain and that gives us the added advantages that instead of using a large number of element for a structural uh, member we can simply represent it as a single element in the frequency domain and the eigen values and eigen vector that we obtain as a result of these expressions are the exact solutions now one of the disadvantages with the spectral element based approach is that for the uh, case of the complicated uh, structure it becomes a bit difficult to model them now since in this study we are also considering the uncertain situations for that particular purpose we are considering the kerman lowy expansion expressions if we consider a randomness uh, in a particular uh, let us suppose one parameter we are considering it to be a random then we can generally use a monte carlo simulation but in case of a system where large number of parameters are varying randomly in that particular case is the case of uh, random process and uh, kerman lowy expansion basically used to study the random process system now these are some of the uh, researchers that have carried out a study in this particular field macado uh, has carried out a study in case of bar element uh, using the spectral element method and the rai and rai choudhury has carried out a study over the how to use these uh, mode shifts to carry out uh, and find out the damage locations now this has been used uh, this concept have been used in this present study also to find out the damage location now uh, we have to find out the expression for displacement of 
a bar element let us suppose using the spectral element method now this is the expression that is the equation of motion in the frequency domain which is present and given by Mercado. now the expression for the displacement uh, that is the solution of this expression is represented as shown here i want you to focus on this uh, s parameter right here because i will be using this parameter throughout this uh, study now this uh, unknown coefficients a1 and a2 can be obtained or usual are actually obtained through the boundary conditions now putting out this boundary condition that is the displacement at these two ends we can find out the expressions a1 and a2 and uh, while after calculating them we can put them back into this expression of displacement i will find out the expression will will somewhat look like this now for finding out the stiffnesses as well as the mass matrices these are the two expressions that have been given by Mercado, where the this s is the same uh, expression that i asked you to focus on and remember this ex expression which is represented in this vector form right here so uh, after putting them this is the derivative of this s uh, uh, function so on uh, putting these expressions will end up in a 2 by 2 matrix for a bar element similarly for the mass matrices we will end up in this kind of expression on carrying out the calculations now that was the uh, situation for the uh, undamaged rod now what about the damaged rod now for the damaged case we will write the expression for the displacement in two different regions one to the left of the damage and another one to the right of the damage now for introducing the, uh, the severity, damage severity we have considered a parameter called local flexibility that is the theta now the expressions for the theta can be find out in the Mercado's paper and uh, that is a bit lengthy so that has been deliberately not put in here now the expressions for the displacement to the left and to the right of this damage location can be represented and shown in a matrix compact form as shown here where SL is the same S parameter in case as in case of the undamaged bar element and uh, this is for the left of the damaged uh, location and this one is for the right of the damaged location now again uh, as earlier case uh, we have to find out the unknown coefficient a1 uh, a1 a2 a3 and a4 this is AL and AR represented uh, for the part these uh, coefficients for the to the left and to the right of the damage location now simply putting uh, this boundary condition we can find out those parameters these are the boundary condition at the two uh, extreme ends of this bar element and at the damage location again we'll have this sort of expression which will obtain through the knowledge of the fracture mechanics now on solving this putting uh, solving this kind of equation which is obtained uh, through this boundary condition we can find out these parameters and when these parameters are known we can write the expression which will look somewhat like this in the compact form it has been represented here now again uh, for the stiffnesses and the mass matrices can be represented in this compact form now for uh, this particular case when we are considering the damage rod will have expressions to the left and to the right and together they can be represented in a compact matrix form as shown this is uh, integrated from 0 to L1 L1 is the location at which the damage have been caused and this is uh, again the right of the damage location integrated from L1 to L similarly for the mass matrix we'll have the expression which will looks similar to edge case of the undamaged case except for they are for the fact that they are except for the fact that they are two different expressions one to the left and one to the right now what about the non-uniform sections now for the non-uniform sections we have considered that the area of cross sections varies linearly from the fixed to the free end let us suppose now in case of this particular case the stiffness matrix uh, will have the similar expression as earlier except for the fact this area term which was earlier uh, out of this out of this integration will come inside and we'll have to integrate this along with this s parameters s expressions similarly for the mass matrix again a para a uh, expression of the area will come inside the integration now for the damage rod again we'll have two different expression one to the left and one to the right and uh, in both of these expression will have the area term inside the integration in case of non-uniform sections similarly for the mass 
uh, matrix will uh, again have two different expression and they have it represented in the compact form as follows now uh, we are since we are focusing more on the how to introduce the randomness into the system where we have used the kerman lovey expansion to introduce the randomness into the system now uh, using the kerman lovey expansion the randomness is introduced through this kind of expression where let us suppose we are to introduce the randomness into omega parameter then omega naught is its deterministic part which is constant and this uh, expression introduces the randomness in this particular expression in the particular parameter the lambda j and f j x are actually uh, these are the eigen values and eigen functions which is obtained through solving these two expressions on solving these two expressions covariance functions will end up with a solution which will look somewhat like this where the lambda j is expressed as follow and for the f j will have two different expressions for the cases when the j this uh, j in this uh, kerman lovey expansion is whether the j is an odd or it is an even and we'll have two different expression for odd and even now for the real scenarios like suppose we uh, for usually case uh, we generally take uh, j from 1 to let us suppose 100 or it could be 1000 based on our choice now how we will use this expression to introduce random in into a structural parameter let us suppose we want to randomness uh, we want to introduce the randomness in ea so ea naught is actually the deterministic part and this uh, factor will introduce the randomness into this parameter ea the expression for omega 1 can be obtained as shown earlier from this common lobby expansion and for the stiffness again we'll have this deterministic part and delta k is the random part now for the random part expressions uh, we have already obtained the expressions for the deterministic case how we will find out through this integration this kind of expression except for this fact that in case of the when we are introducing the randomness this kj factor will have an expression this stiffness random stiffness expression will have one more factor k f kj which is nothing but the eigen uh, function which is obtained using the kerman lovey expansion will come inside this integration this expression of kj actually represents the random stiffness part in this kx uh, in this stiffness expression similarly for the mass expression We'll have to introduce the randomness using the kernel lobby expansion and the expression for that random mass uh, uh, this delta k uh, delta m parameter will be expressions its uh, expression will introduce this mg uh, para factor and this mg omega factor can be similarly obtained as in case of the deterministic part except for the uh, deterministic case except for the fact that we'll have the f mg parameter inside the integration now for the damaged case again uh, we'll have to write the expression one to the left one to the right except for the fact that in case of random scenario you will have this f parameter inside the integrations similarly for the mass we'll have uh, the expressions with uh, for the random uh, mass factor with the f m j parameter inside the integration and uh, for the uh, scenario where we will be considering about the non-uniform sections along with this fkg parameters will have the area parameter which will again be inside this integration term both for the mass as well as the stiffness matrices for the damaged case a non-uniform section under the effect of uncertainty will have this kind of expression one to the left one to the right with both the f and the ax expression inside the integration so now we are done with all kind of al calculation and we have obtained the stiffnesses and the matrix and the mass matrices in the frequency domain we have to carry out the eigenvalue analysis for to obtain the mode shifts and the frequencies of the actual structure now for the simulation study we have considered a bar element which cross sections are linearly varying as shown in the figure here where a1 and a2 has uh, these values and this bar has been considered as a mild steel and its properties have been assigned equal uh, similar to that of the mild steel now on uh, solving the eigenvalue analysis will end up uh, with this kind of the mode shift these mode shifts are actually the average of the 50 number of random 
expressions, random uh, samples that have been taken up using this Kerman Lowy expansion. And this average value of the mode shifts for the damaged and undamaged case have been uh, taken into consideration. And then when they will be compared here, when we take out the difference between the damaged and undamaged mode shifts, we'll end up with this kind of plot where we can clearly see that at a damaged location, the difference is showing a sudden peak and the sudden draw, uh, drop in its at the value of length of 0.7 meter where we were actually introducing the damage and the damage was corresponding 20 percent now it can be the whole study can be summarized as follow we were able to find out the stiffnesses and mass matrices for the damage and undamaged case in case of non-uniform sections in the frequency domain now operating in the frequency domain we have advantage that uh, whatever the eigenvalues and eigenvalues and eigenvectors that is uh, obviously the mode shape we obtain are actually the exact solutions and the further study is required to extend this idea for the beams and the frames now the what are the future applications of this study presently uh, we are working on the shear building now we already know from the knowledge of the finite element modeling the expressions for the bar has a similar form as that of uh, the expression in case of the shear building for the stiffness matrices yes that is the stiffness matrices of the bar element and the shear building has similar kind of expression so same analogy can be extended in the frequency domain as well so we are working on this uh, particular idea where we are trying to find out the damage in case of the shear building at a particular damage locations and we have got uh, good certain good results and we are in middle of this uh, publication as well and this uh, this is the laboratory experiment has been carried out at the iit patna in the bihar state of india these are the some of the references that have been used to carry out this study thank you so much i think this was quite informative and ex self explanatory and in case if you have any sort of uh, queries and questions you can always ask me at my email address or you can also log into anjane.com thank you so much namaste